Hey everybody, my name is Charles and I am the coordinator here at Mission Control. Now this week we had some very scary things happen to Hank up in space. Uh, it runs where he had to really hold on to our theme verse of Philippians 4 verse 9, which is, keep doing the things you have learned and received, heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. So I'm going to hand you guys over to Dr. I Know It All. Doctor? Oh, thank you, Charles. Yes, my name is Dr. I know it all. And we've had a really challenging week this week with the hang up in space. You see, what happened is a proximity alarm sounded on the shuttle. And that was because an asteroid was very, very close to the ship on a collision course. So Hank had to hop on the controls and take manual control of the ship and steer it around that star asteroid. Now as an astronaut he had to have be calm and have real peace so he was able to hold on to that theme verse which is great so it was a great job from Hank. We're really proud of him down here at Mission Control. So that was a little bit about what happened and uh, back to you Charles. Thanks Doc. So now let's head over to Hank. Hank uh, how are you going here? Uh, why don't you uh, just tell us a little bit more about how you had that peace through that yeah, that, that really challenging, scary time there. Oh yeah, hey Charles, um, yeah, no, it was a bit hairy. See, um, well as you said, you know, the proximity alarm went off, so I was, um, I really had to just quickly jump on the seat and take control of the shuttle, um, just in time to see this really big asteroid come towards me. Um, and so I got control with, managed to just fly around it, and um, yeah, mission control gave me everything I needed to do. Uh, before the event, letting me know what to do in the sort of the, the situation, so practice, but also afterwards making sure I kept uh, the course on. It was good, yeah. yeah. So, Hank, what made you do the things that you did? What uh, what helps you get through this uh, challenging times and, and gave you that peace? Well, yeah, it's a um, documentary that I uh, watched about a guy called Elsha. He had um, this really challenging, quite scary thing happen to him too, but he just wasn't worried at all. Um, and it was just about having peace during that really hard time and, and really stressful time. But didn't know that I, I had it in control and that, you know, I've got to make it work and that I had mission control to back me up. That was really good, yeah. Um, I've actually, uh, in fact, this documentary, I'll, I'll just um, work it out. Uh, Hang on, uh, yeah, there we go. Or, well, let's have a watch of it and uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Hey guys, Don from St. Paul's Kids here. Now the story we've got for you this week is one about this guy, Alsha. And he had this situation where he was totally at peace. But he shouldn't, he should have been nervous and worried. But the story is about where he got that peace from. But I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Now, the king of Syria at the time of Elsha. He kept sending this army in to try and take over the country. Time and time and time again, he thought he could get a good ambush. He could take over the city, destroy their army, catch them by surprise. But each time, Israel's army was there, standing ready for him. And again, he's looking out, and his army was returning, dejected, discouraged, feeling like, ugh, oh, again, these guys keep getting it, they had their heads down. And he was just, he called all his generals and his nobles together. And he stood them in front of him and he said, who here is telling Israel of my plans? We have a traitor amongst us. Who is it? I want to know. They were all thinking, oh, ooh. one of them came forward. Oh, king, it's not anyone here. The people of Israel have a prophet, Elsha, and he tells the king when you're about to move. So whenever our army goes into a place, they're ready for them. We, what can we do that God tells him and he tells them? It's, we've tried and tried. The king looked in anger at them all. That's it. Send the army to get this man and bring him to me because we'll use him to help us and sure enough the king of syria sent out his army as soon as they found out where Elsha was they sent them out to surround the city 
and bring him to him. Now, Elsha had a trainee with him, and one morning he got up to go do the things that he had to do, you know, air out the washing, dust out the thing, and he looked out over the small little town that they were staying in. It was completely surrounded by thousands of Syrian soldiers. He dropped the town and he ran. Elsha! 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 Quick! Quick! Elsha, what, what, what is it? What? 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 Come! Come on! Follow me! Look! Look! This way! Look! Look! What? Look, come on! Come on! And so he's there. Takes him to the wall. And Elsha's like, yeah? But look! Look, Elsha! Look! That's, all the Syrians are here! They, they surrounded us! We've got nowhere to go! And he's like, and? But have a look! We're in trouble, Elsha! What can we do? Why are you worried? Why am I worried? <laughs> look, there's a thousands and thousands of enemy soldiers surrounding the city, and I bet they're here for you! What what can we do? <laughs> Elsha looked around, did a quick tally. Yeah, yeah, we've got more. Oh, what do you mean we've got more? Look, look, with maybe 50 to 100 men in this town, they could fight them, but there's thousands of them. Elsha looked around and said, <laughs> we have a lot more than them. And he said, Elsha just looked at him and he said, let me help. He looked up. He said, Lord, open his eyes so he can see what I can see, how we can trust you. Huh? His trainee looked at him. What? And he looked down. His eyes went wide as plates. Because surrounding all the Syrians and that army were thousands upon thousands of flaming chariots, angels at the helm, riding around them. The Syrians couldn't see them, they didn't know. But there were thousands, they were totally outnumbered. The trainee was like, <sighs> and we're not talking about angels like we're talking about warriors wings swords that flame the very side of them make the trainees shake they on it they're on our side it's okay oh god strips that is angels look at them Are we, what, what are we? What are we going to do? What, what's going to happen? What's what's God going to do? Now she's going. You watch, Lord. Do what you're going to do. Make, make it so they can't see. <laughs> sure enough, the entire army couldn't see. This mist whoosh, came in over their eyes, and they're like, um, heck, um, heck, uh, I, um. Uh, who, who, uh, is anyone there? I can't see. I can't see. You can't see. I can't see. I can't see. What are we going to do? What's going to happen? And then Alsha appeared before them. No, they didn't know this was Alsha because he was there. Yeah, he could see them. They couldn't see him. Oh, what are you guys up to? Oh, we've come to capture Alsha. Ah, oh, I know where he is. Follow me! And sure enough, it was like hands on shoulders, they all walked and followed Elsha. And Elsha stopped them at this large city, the Israel's capital. And he said, I'll be right back in a minute, I'll see if he's there. Elsha walked in. The king was like, What what are you doing, Elsha? Why have you brought the Syrian army? Oh them, no, no, they can't see. Hey? Yeah, they can't see. They can't see? They can't see. Huh? Now, get your soldiers, surround them, bring them in, surround them, and we've got it. Oh, right, okay, yep, brilliant. <laughs> this is going to be good. Sure enough, the whole army of Israel gathered around the thousands of the soldiers, totally surrounding them. The king wearing his full armor, his sword ready for Elsha's command to take them down. And then Elsha looked up and said, okay, God, go for it. Make it so they can see. And 
and then the mist lifted the Syrian soldiers like ah <gasps> looking up in front of them were the huge walls of Samaria uh, this isn't the city we were in that looks like and they looked around and they saw the whole army of Israel surrounding them um yeah th 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 this isn't good guys no <laughs> There in front of them was Elsha and the king of Israel. Elsha, shall we kill them? Elsha smiled at the king. No, no. They need to go back and tell their king about what had happened here. Make a, make a way, guys. Off you go. Go back to the king of Syria and tell him that Israel's God is with us and no army he sends can hurt us. Really? Mm hmm? Really? Mm-hmm. Off you go. Go on. Wait. Off you go. Oh, uh, God. It's just... Um, it, it, it's just go back. And sure enough, the king of Syria was waiting eagerly for his army to return. And there he saw them, the dust in the distance, get closer. This is it. Here we go. He ran down to the gate to welcome his victorious army. And there at the head were his generals in front. <laughs> Hi. Uh... Um, funny story and they explained everything that had happened from the mist coming over their eyes they couldn't see to being led somewhere by someone to find Elsha and then they found him and they were surrounded but then he said to go and tell him about how God is with Israel and his people are always protected the king white as a sheet. Maybe we'll just um, leave Israel, guys. Maybe we don't need them. We're just, you know, we're just, we're good. We're good here. <laughs> Back in Israel, Elsha's trainee looked at him. He said, Elsha, how did you know? Look, where did, what happened? And he looked at him and he said, well, I was trained by Elijah and he taught me all about where to find the peace and how to trust God. That when we read God's word, it shows us where we can find that peace and how we can trust Him in any circumstance to help us through it. And that's the story this week, guys. We'll see you later. Wow, awesome hack. Yeah, I can totally see how that would help. Uh, well, you hopefully are going to have a better week this week and uh, it'll be much more relaxed. So I'll catch you later, hack. Bye. So I hope that helped you guys as well with how we can trust God when things are hard. But in fact, I'm going to do something now. I'm going to pray for you, and we're going to play for you with Aosha's prayer. So Lord, I just thank you now that you love us. And I pray right now over every child, every person listening to this now, that you would open their eyes to see things, see people, see circumstances, and know that you you are with them, that we are never, ever alone, but you are with us. You go before us. So I pray now for your peace, for your love, and that you would watch out for every single person. Amen. I'll see you later, guys.